Hello everyone and welcome to the Blind Angler. I hope you can hear me okay, it's a bit breezy. My dad, Stefan and myself have just got here. We're gonna do some fishing. But while we kick back and uh, try and catch a fish, why don't you relax and watch Jolly Boy Matt in his second ever catch and cook. Please do subscribe and give us a like. It is free of charge. And uh, over to you, Maddie Boy, in the kitchen. I have a black now. Ladies and gentlemen, the first cod in, and it's caught by that man again from the Jolly Boys, Giddy. Matthew. Well done, mate. Merry Christmas. It was, uh, we got a bit excited, me and Ed. We were like, oh, there's a bit of a knock there. Yeah. So it's on sand eel, double sand eel. Picked it up. I was like, it's, there's no fight, there's no kick, just wait. And he was like, it could be a ray. Bring it in really heavy. And we felt really heavy, bring it in. Nothing until we were like five, 10 yards out. And then it started to kick. But uh, so wasn't what I was expecting. Nope. But absolutely take that. Happy days. Lovely jubbly. On sand deal as well. On sand deal, we would have thought it. Which rod was that? The Continental? On the Conti, yeah. Wow. So I've got squid and double, I've got a, a couple log wham and squid out. Yeah. Going for one of these, nothing. Sand deal going for Ray. Get one of these. Yeah, that's what I've just done is I've put out a double sand deal. Yeah, well. So, <laughs> yeah. we'll have to wait and see. All right, beautiful. All well right, done. Well done, sunshine. Hello, and welcome to a special uh, blind angler because he's not here. Um, Wayne has asked me to do a little catch and cook uh, with the cod that I just caught. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So I've already filleted and deboned and skinned the cod. Uh, we will be doing it with a butter peen and a chorizo uh, stew and a lovely salsa verde. Oh, wish me luck. Okay, first step is going to be fry off the chorizo for kind of six minutes or so just to get the oils released and crisp them up a little bit on the outside and uh, then we'll be adding the rest of the ingredients for the stew right the chorizo is uh frying away nicely lots of, lots of oil being released what we're doing is we're you know, using a soft spoon remove this which out to one side keep the oil in the pan uh, and then we'll add in the onion sweat them off and then add in the rest and then bring it down to a stew Veggies in, we're going to sweat that down now uh, for five to eight minutes, depending on how it goes down. We want it nice and translucent, soft, yummy. Then we'll add in chopped tomatoes, uh, make it right into a real nice ragu, uh, and then we'll add in the butter beans as well. The uh, stew is, is doing its thing. It's a good start time to start on the salsa verde. Um, salsa verde just means green salsa, um, green salad. Uh, essentially, so use whatever herbs you want. I've gone for a bit of tarragon, uh, coriander and basil uh, and chop these all up to begin with. Next up, capers. Quite difficult with my left hand. I mean, it's up to you, you can have them just cut them in half and coarsely, you can really chop them down. It's entirely up to you what you want texturally. Making a nice kind of ragu there, so we're gonna add in the butter beans now, cook them, just leave them on a gentle simmer while we finish with the salsa verde and then cook the main thing, the cod. Carry on with the salsa verde and your wee villets. Seasoned the cod, got some hot oil, not too much. Put it in. Once it's in, don't move them around. Don't be tempted to shake them around, even there, three minutes. Yeah, literally leave them for three minutes, gently turn them over, put some butter in, two more minutes. Little, little rest afterwards, and they should be 
Um, I forgot to tell you that I've added the chorizo back into the stew now and I also added a little bit of Dijon mustard into the salsa verde just to give it that little bit extra depth of flavour. Right, and there we have it. Uh, the cod did break a little bit. I wasn't gentle enough, but um, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, best served a nice glass of Sauvignon Blanc. That's what I'll be doing.